Fulton County has affected businesses, first responders, and the Clanton City Parks. CBS 42 News reporter James McConnell is live in Clanton right now, where people there say this flooding is the worst they've ever seen. James? Yeah, here at the Chilton County Courthouse, the trouble started this morning when a pump right here failed. Employees discovered about three or four inches of water in the 911 center. They've been hauling out buckets of water all day. We've got some carpet that's damaged. We've got some uh, some tile floor that's damaged. We've got the computer that's damaged. Alan Caton said when employees arrived at the courthouse this morning, they discovered water in the basement where the 911 center is located, along with other offices and file storage rooms. We had some uh, pumps that uh, were supposed to keep the water out of the basement to fail on us. Uh, we're, we're replacing those right now to try to get the water out. We've also had some asphalt work at the back of the courthouse where we're resurfacing the parking lot, and uh, some of that has been left open and we've got water coming in through the through the drainage of that. He said water did damage some computers in the 911 center, but the main computer room was spared. We got it quick too. I mean it was it was over uh, an hour period we got all that water. Down the road the Timberline Homes lot flooded as well. Water rushing over the driveway prevented all but lifted trucks from getting in and out. One employee said it was the worst flooding he'd seen there. On Highway 145 Clanton City Park flooded too. It was all the way over that field there. That's actually field four and the water came from right about here all the way to the other side. It was totally covered. You couldn't even drive down in here. The, the parking lot was covered. Water overwhelmed the underground lines and lifted off a manhole cover in the parking lot. The creek that runs through the park overflowed. The director said they have tournaments scheduled for the next two weekends and she hopes the fields will dry out soon so the teams can practice. If it gets warm enough, the sun stays shining and when no more rain, it'll dry up enough we can get the fields ready and they can start back to playing. Back here at the courthouse, they tell me the 911 center has been fully operational all day. None of the county buildings have been closed, but it will take a couple of days to get everything back to normal. Live in Shelton County, James McConaughey, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.